welcome back to the shop, friends. I have a very exciting video for you guys today and for me. My friend and Uber subscriber, Ken, who sends the most interesting things. He sends uh, things that are fun and things that are useful. He, Ken watches the videos and, and it seems like no more that I, there's something I need in a video or something that would help me uh, around the homestead that he sends it out. He's very generous. And this is, uh, this is really cool. So he uh, issued me a tool challenge. He sent this and asked, gave me some clues, see if I could figure out what it is. I know what it is. I've seen one before. I've never seen one in person, but I know exactly what it is. Let me bring you up here close to see if you can figure it out. We are gonna see who the tool nerds are today. Have you ever seen anything like this here? So, give you a couple hints here. It's got a wheel with a handle, solid brass, very old, and it looks, is it Chinese writing? Look, obviously handmade. Look at that. Look at the, the wheel right there. Or maybe it's done that way so for purpose. We'll talk about that in the future. And it's got a hole in it. This is really important here. And what else? Kind of a little handle. Do you know what that is? You ever seen anything like that before? So to make this work, we are indeed, this is going to be fun. I have always wondered about these things and how well they worked. All right, let me we need to, I don't think we have room for all of this string on it, so we'll uh, pull some of this off. Okay, we got to the end. That didn't take 10 minutes. All right. I'm gonna cut this off of here. So if this works how I think it does, we'll need to, we'll put that string through here and then We'll need to secure it to the brass or the bronze wheel. That is just beautiful. Um, I believe he said, if I remember right, this dated to just at the turn of the century, 1911, 1913, or, or something like that. Very, very old. Man, just amazing to have these things that are still, still usable tools today that were made so many years ago and, and from such a different culture too. But I've seen English versions of this uh, made out of wood, which in frame here, that essentially do the same thing. And I wonder who copied who. All right, now we're, we got that there. We'll tie this off. I'll just tie it off with a hard knot there. Whoops, I missed my, missed my mark. We'll do a square knot. Okay, we can trim this off. The world's dullest scissors. All right, there we go. Okay, so now we need to put a bit of a bit of uh, the string on there. I think it'll work better here if we hold it. So, okay, so we'll fill up the wheel here. Can you see that? Fill up the wheel with the string. Now we can put the clip back on there. We'll just do a, a loop. Here. We'll trim the excess with the world's dullest scissors. Good, that's shameful. We might have to do a video sharpen or scissor sharpening video. Okay, now we'll go back to the loop here. This is the way you want to attach these guys. Right there, okay. Aha! That's why it keeps getting, t I f I'm doing it wrong. I missed, I missed a little hole. There's a second hole in there. Oh, that's gonna be tricky. I should have put that in there first. Can I fish it through there? Sure, it means an old, I'm an old fly tying fly fisherman. I shouldn't have any trouble with this, but back when I did that, I could actually see stuff. Let's see if I can tease that through there. Let me go get a little poker. When all else fails, the little snap on angle doohickey guy there always saves the day. Oh boy, I'm losing my eyesight. I can't see him close anymore. It's just such a cross to bear. I guess it could be worse. Let's see if I can go through the bottom here. 
So that didn't work out very good for me, so I took it all off. So what happens when you don't read the instructions. Now we should be able to go through that hole. There we go. Now it's gonna, look at that. That's gonna work much, much better. Now I, now I see. So if I can snatch this here. There, that's why, that's, kept, that's why it kept falling off there and getting tangled around the loop because I didn't have it through that second hole. I fear getting the string on here is possessing more of a challenge for me than I would like, than it should be. Oh, I did it, I looked, I looked away. Give me strength. I looked away at the, at the camera monitor and I sucked it right back. goodness maybe I shouldn't be doing this today but we will persevere boy I'll tell you the things that try men's nerves Whew. now Ken also included with the package this I had never seen this before this bottle of snap right black ink is that not that should be given kind of giving it away for you and black ink I don't know I don't know that this is the right stuff here for this particular application. I, I'm reluctant to get involved with this. I mean, can you imagine if this gets loose on the homestead here and on my clothes and in the house, I'm gonna be sleeping outside. I don't think I want anything to do with permanent black ink in bulk on the homestead. So what I think is supposed to happen here is not ink, but chalk. I could be wrong, but I think so, is chalk. So I have some chalk here. Let's, uh, let's try it and see if this isn't the solution. Thanks to the power of the electron microscope, you can see in stunning detail here. So what this is, is a very, very ancient chalk line. As the chalk, Oh, I, they're not. As the chalk goes through, the, the string goes through the chalk, it coats it with the chalk. Just, just I mean, it's, it's the exact same way that, that, that they work today. Now, I think that that reason why that wheel is, see that wheel's offset right there? I'll bet that was done on purpose. It may have been done on purpose uh, to prevent it from going, you know, going round and round and getting a backlash and getting tangled. So you can see the chalk, you have to kind of massage it as, it as it is coating the string. Now when you put a new chalk line on, you have to run them a couple of times uh, till they get saturated. Isn't that cool? It's very damp out here too, so that's contributing to the to the chalk kind of bunching bunching up there. See it going through there? There you can see see how it works there. So the chalk level is going down, so keep topping it up. So that, that's what the carpenters would have done in the day. They, they or would have, that's how they would have done it. They probably would have had a, um, a little bag that they kept their chalk in. You know, you can't keep it in this, of course. You know, it'll just fall out when you put it in your toolbox. And then when they were doing layout and they were ready to use it, then they would fill up that little, that little hopper and coat, coat the string. There you can see. Not quite as good as the ones we have today, uh, but how else would you do it? I mean, you would think about it. If you, if you, if that, you were posed with a problem, you had to coat a, a 50 foot of string with chalk evenly, how would you do it? And isn't that, isn't that clever? Right there. So now I've done it a couple, run it in there, in there a couple times. It's not a perfect system. <laughs> we could see I much. Oh, look at goodness! Now, I'm, now we're all tangled. Now I've done it. So once the string is coated, just just like we have today, then we can pull these tight, and then we can wait to get a perfect line. Snap a line, just like that. Now there you leave. It gives you a a reference line that you can uh, cut next to. And that's how, I guess that's how it was done. Very similar to how it's done today. Just uh, uh, a little more rudimentary 
but uh, it certainly works. That is really, really a cool and fun little thing to see, something that's over 100 years old. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Well, thank you, Ken. I, I've got another half hour to untangle my bird's nest in there, and then I'll, uh, I'll put this up with the special tools. But uh, that was really fun. Thanks for sending that, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys on the next one.